Good evening and welcome to the Renew Physical Therapy pregame show on Bay County TV. Jeff Dode and Mike Wasdala along with you. The second game, if it's even close Ooh. to as good as the first, we're in for a real dilly. <laughs> oh, boy, that first one was a barn burner, Jeff. And, again, you know, this is going to be a good one, too. Deckerville's bringing in a good squad. They're coming in at 3-1, three and three and one, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they're not bad at all, but the Cougars are on a roll with five straight wins. Cougars are on a roll with five straight wins, and arguably five of their better players are 10th graders. Yeah, they're, uh, they're a young squad. We watched them kind of mature last year as freshmen. We watched them mature on the football field this year as sophomores. They had a really good football team. They're going to carry that over into the basketball court, and Jeff, and look, really, really looking forward to this all Saints squad. And again, when you look at the maturation of these sophomores from last year as freshmen, that really is the next generation in this team that uh, Coach Brzezinski's got. Yeah, I would agree with that, Jeff. You know, last year they made those freshman mistakes even in the long end of the season. But this year they got a year of varsity under their belt. That is key. doesn't matter if you're in the Saginaw Valley or in the Thumb. You still are playing varsity basketball, and, it, and it's a different animal. They got their feet wet last year, yes, last year, and they're going to get tested again this year as sophomores. Well, the leading scorer in all of Bay County last year as a freshman has really picked up where he left off, and that's only half the story. His number <laughs> is the rest of the story. Give, give us a little history well, lesson here, Coach. Well, you know, Jeff, I had a talk with Darnell before the game, and uh, anytime you wear a number 10 for Bay City Austin, it's kind of a special number. You know, there was some uh, players that uh, wore it. Uh, you go back to John Pike and Dickie Heinskill, Al Skowski, and some of the Gary Razdorf, and just to name a few. It's a special number. Mike Wisdala. Yeah, All I wasn't right, going to say you. it, but I, I, I appreciate you mentioning <laughs> So it's kind of a special number, and you kind of wear it on your wear it in your heart a little bit. But uh, Darnell's done a nice job of wearing that number proud, filling up and leading this squad. So kudos to number 10. That about puts the wraps on our Renew Physical Therapy pregame show. Back with all the game action in just a minute on Bay County TV. Choose Renew Physical Therapy for an experience that exceeds expectations. When our team started out, we researched the physical therapy industry to learn what patients and doctors liked and what they disliked. Now we have the perfect formula for you. We offer individualized one-on-one -on -one care that is custom tailored to you, ensuring that your needs are met and your goals are attained. With our evidence-based approach to physical therapy, we're able to provide a level of care unlike any other. Contact us today to learn more. We're here to help. Renew Physical Therapy. Here we go with our tip-off in the boys' game. Cougars with the first offensive set. As Salmer comes down the floor, and we got a limited view already of this game. As they come down the floor, and what do we have? We don't know. Again, that's in the corner, and uh, we've got a group of fans that are So we're trying to get them to <laughs> try, at least stand back try. so we can have an opportunity to see what's going on in the corner. So uh, that first shot goes up and it's off the mark, one and done, as the shot was up by uh, Jacob Meyer. And Meyer, he made some big three balls in games that we did last yeah. year. He had a, a fantastic half of basketball. Nice little slice and dice on his way to the hole by number 32, uh, Hunter Garza for the first deuce of the game. And I just want to apologize. I called him Darnell. It's Arnell right. somewhere. I, and I apologize to number 10 for my miscue. So uh, we're just underway, and the Eagles are up to zip. Somler again as he's in the corner, and they're going to move that ball around in a hurry around the perimeter. And the Eagles are playing that man defense and Jason. And again, with a strong move to the hole, number 12, Jack Wetters. That ball goes out of bounds, and it'll go back over to the Cougars. As they inbound the ball, Meyer 
with a great step to the hole, gives it back. Salmer's got a great look. Samla could not get that to drop. And one and done as uh, Deckerville does a really nice job on the glass. You look at that Deckerville Eagle squad, Jeff. They got some length to them. They got some pretty uh, good-sized kid put, put together fairly well. Sommler with a nice job of knocking that ball away. Very nice transition defense by the Eagles, though, as they take a Meyer wide open in the corner, and that ball is off the mark as well. And it's again, it's one and done. As coming back, as they take their time up top. Nice job that time by Wetters to cut off the path to the basketball by number 13, Martin. And again, they reset the show. Long three ball, and that comes down. Meyer takes it on the transition, gives that ball back over. Salmer going to the basket, cannot make it happen. And again, as that ball goes out of bounds, it will go back over to the All Saints Cougars. And... Uh, we've already found our new spot for, uh, <laughs> yeah, for next uh, game. future games because <laughs> we've got a, a grand new wireless that's going to allow us to go to the other end of the floor where we're not going to have that semi-obstructed view. There's a great look for Meyer, and that goes off the mark as well. Wetters goes up and loses the ball on the way back up, and it's 2 to nothing with the offense of Deckerville coming down and a great good back feed yeah. underneath the number 13 Logan Martin he's got both deuces here in the first quarter yeah, that was a good backdoor cut by Martin to uh, get for the easy layup Jeff Deckerville up four nothing with 516 to go here in the first quarter all right again some of the moms are trying to do a nice job so that we got a path look at Somler going to the hole he's got that deuce to drop and he will go to the free throw line what a great opportunity. Saw a small crease, bolted through it, drew contact, kept the chin up, yep. got it to roll. Really did a nice job, Jeff, of uh, keeping his eye on the basket, like you, like we have to say, chin on the rim. And boy, he went up with some authority, knew he was going to get fouled, and put it into the basket. Boy, what a great rhythm at the line as he rattles the next one home, and he finishes off the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Here's a numbers game for Deckerville. And look, another great look, but a short arm right out of bounds. Almost in our lap Ball over here. Over. We got John Caridio in front of us, <laughs> one of the best in the business. As he will inbound that ball now, give it to Deckerville to inbound for us. He'll go back and in, into that trail position. And he is from uh, the suburbs of Quantica C. <laughs> so, oh. He does a tremendous light display, too. If you ever get out that way, uh, that's something that you must be holding. And, and Somler picks up a foul that you don't want to get if you're that young man. Yeah, you're 20-plus uh, feet away from the basket. That's uh, All Saints' first uh, team foul, Somler's first team foul. Substitution coming in for the Deckerville Eagles. 4.39 to go here in the first quarter, Jeff. 4-3, Eagles on top just underway. So both teams offensively off to a kind of slow start with only seven total points scored in three and a half minutes of play. And uh, just getting at Martin, he's looking to make it happen all the time. How about yeah. number 32, Hunter Garza, as he tickles the twine on a trifecta. Uh, that was a nice shot right there by Garza, Jeff. And the defense from the Cougars, very aware of where Martin is at. Meyer puts up a shot, comes off a little bit of contact and short arms that shot. One and done though as Deckerville does a great job sweeping the glass. Good Again, job by Wetters having high hands. Quick hands at the other end. Just over the outstretched hands of Somler. The ball goes back over to Deckerville with 4.01 left in the first. Cougar are going to come out with a little 1-2-1-1 one, one, one diamond press again, just like the girls did. Boy, almost uh, shuffled the feet before they just got rid of that. You can already tell who the number one player on this team is. Logan yeah. Martin is the prolific scorer. He's got, uh, yeah, I think he's, he's got, got six. Uh, six of their points, yep. Jeff, out of the nine. And number 32, Garza's got the rest. As Somler comes back around, and Arnell is 
just camped out in the corner. Look at Wetters just carving out space. As uh, if you're going to stand there and take the charge from him, <laughs> you you better be a man because uh, he's coming with authority <laughs> well, to the hole. And one thing about going from freshman year to sophomore year, these young gentlemen have gotten a little bit bigger in those 365 days. Well, the, he's grown a couple <laughs> inches, and he's yes. definitely increased yeah. the girthage. Yeah. As that ball was tipped on the shot, and it comes right back to Deckerville up on top, nine to three, with three and 15 left in our first quarter of play. Into the corner is Martin again, and that ball again. Meyer ends up with a steal. You know he's going to the hole with that. Nice. Oh, he gonna, I thought he I thought he did a nice I jump know, stop. I thought right he there, kept Jeff. his pivot foot off that jump stop as yep. well, but. Great look from the official as we got a couple of substitutes coming in. Coming in for the Cougars is, uh, is number zero. Familiar name for Bay City All Saints from the football field. Bo Williams, another 10th grader for Bay City All Saints. Another kid that uh, seems to have uh, grown in the offseason. And there that ball comes out of bounds and it will go right back over to the All Saints Cougars. He could be part of the all hair team too, couldn't he? Oh, I'm going to tell you what, he's, he's got some locks <laughs> got going, making you and I jealous. Oh, man. Here. <laughs> I remember when <laughs> Williams sends that thing back up top as they send it back to Williams deep on the wing, trying to rotate that around. Somler. He looks for that mini screen. Boy, they doubled him off. They're very acutely aware of where he's at on the floor here in the first quarter. Yeah, they're kind of almost did not trying to deny him the the ball, Jeff. So this is a good matchup between Garza and Samler. Yeah, Salinas also into the game for the Cougars. Samler puts up what is a, a very makeable shot for him, clangs off the back iron, and the Cougars offensively just not able to get it going offensively. So they said, why not do it on the defense? Defense creates offense. Coach to coast for the deuce for Somler. Nice job by Arnell taking it to the rack with some authority, Jeff. We got nine to five with a minute 54. Full court press is paying off for the Cougars right there. Bo Williams anticipates it. How about the teardrop just a little bit too strong? And it's one and done again as uh, the Eagles have done a really good job on the defensive glass, limiting second shot opportunities. Back onto the offensive set they go. Trying to rotate that ball around and you'll keep an eye on where Miller's at. As there's a long three ball and that is off the mark. Good challenge by uh, Bo Williams right there, Jeff, on that jump shot. As Wetters gets that ball into the front court. Three ball comes up and boy, the Cougars just cannot find second chance opportunities on their offensive glass. Trying to slide around right now as the Cougar defense pretty much packed in at 20 feet as Somler goes out and tries to cut off a quick passing angle. But they give uh, Martin a little blow here in the first quarter, trying to keep him fresh for the game. Another long three ball. That ball bounces back off. Look at that, it falls right into Somler's hand. And he says, nope, I've picked up a foul. I don't want to force the action and get a second. As they slide that back around, uh, Salinas gives that ball back up top. Somler is going to take it with 25 ticks left. Now they're going to do, run a weave. It's like the old Harlem Globetrotters, yes. my friend. As they go with 11 seconds left. Look at Wetters. Found that three, stretched the defense out, was able to go to the hole for two. And a good screen by Somler on that play right there, Jeff. And again, another missed shot. Wetters at the buzzer, and it's off the mark. At the end of one, Deckerville nine, All Saints seven, back in a moment for the second quarter on Bay County TV. Village Towing and Auto Repair of Caucallan and Bay City is here to help you in your hour of need with fast and friendly service. With over 30 years of towing experience, we know how to get the job done quickly and safely. From big to small, we do it all. Give us a call at 989-684-9607 for all your towing needs. 
Back on BC TV is the start of our second quarter off the alternate possession. Deckerville Eagles with the two point lead in their first offensive set of the second quarter. 2 3 matchup zone still by the base of the All Saints Cougars. Is Martin is still on the bench? and uh, He is still on the bench. I, I got to wonder if maybe he got nicked up or something because clearly in the first quarter for Deckerville, yeah. he was the best offensive player on the floor. He had six of their nine points, Jeff. So maybe uh, Coach Dale Stolicker has got something on, in his mind to keep him on the bench and keep him with some fresh legs. Not sure what's going on, but Tomler with a whoo-hoo. Big three right out of the uh, end of the first quarter, Jeff. How about the step back oh, tickling of the twine from Zomler? And again, that pass goes right into the post and right through the hands, which would have been an easy layup for the uh, Deckerville team in uh, Flanagan. Bo Williams did a nice job on the corner down there on defense on the deflection, Jeff, with his good hands, good foot movement. Good help by Wetters right there, stopping the baseline. Andrew Jeske also in the game. Again, a fourth opportunity. Finally, Jack Wetters gets the Windex out and cleans the glass. Strong to the hole! And finishes with a kiss off the glass. That was a great move. Don't look now, 12-9 to <laughs> Cougars on a 5-0 run. <laughs> nice job by Wetters, taking it coast to coast, Jeff. Taking it up strong, and I'll tell you what. He is a presence down underneath the basket on the rebounds. Well, when you've got that mindset and mentality and you see a crease and you're going to the hole, again, you better be a man ready to yeah. get hit if you want to stand there and take that charge. But if you're going to take the hit and you're not set, then you're going to lose twice. Well, the referees are letting them play like they did in the first game with the girls. These referees are letting them play. These, these are some big kids out there. They can handle the physicality of this game. Absolutely. Toe was on the line for that deuce, and that was by number 32, Hunter Garza. Hey, that young man can play. He's got a nice looking J. Yeah, he's got five points. As again, uh, into the offensive set. Somler goes down, that ball goes back, and it will go right back to Somler and the All Saints Cougar offense. As we uh, go with six and 25 here left in the first half, it's 12 to 11. The Cougars up, and you know what Jack Wetters gets the ball underneath. He takes that drop step and goes strong to the hole and finishes. I love that he used the glass too. Uh, you know, he could have just kind of rolled it over with a finger roll, but he put it off the glass, Jeff, and that just guarantees you if you, you shoot it off the glass properly that it's going to go in the well. Well, and if it doesn't, you're in much better yeah. position yeah. to get a rebound and a second chance opportunity. Yep. Sobler coming into the front in the offense with that familiar number 10. And, oh, that is a foul that number 11, Ian Flanagan, just does not want to pick up 28 feet from the basket. No, and uh, who knows why he was going after that, uh, Jeff. But, uh, again, you're very correct. You don't want to go that far away from the basket and pick up that type of foul. Well, he almost gets number two. Look at Sobler slicing and dicing his way down the lane, up off the glass for the deuce. What a fabulous, fabulous play by Somler. Cougar Faithful thought we had a little bit of a travel there, but no call. A lot of officials in oh, the Oh, absolutely. 16-11, <laughs> to go here in the first half. 16-11, the Cougars up. Boy, this young man, oh, number 32, Hunter Garza, <laughs> is uh, in range when he uh, puts his tennis shoes well, on. No, he's in range when he gets off the Bluebird, I'm thinking, right now. Man, he is, uh, I think we've only got two players with all the points. He's Andy like Jetsky. you. He hasn't met a jump shot. He hasn't like yeah. I always like to burp him up, but 50 outside feet. 15, uh, I could hurt somebody, <laughs> hit him on the head. <laughs> At the other end, boy, there is a... A long rebound. You can't do anything when that ball doesn't draw iron. It makes it really tough. As we're going to have a timeout on the floor by the All Saints Cougars. We're all knotted up at 16 back in a moment on BCTV. For over 75 years, Frank's Great Outdoors has served as the Great Lakes Bay region's premier hunting, fishing, and outdoor shopping destination. 
What started in the mid-1940s as a roadside bait and tackle stand has now blossomed into a 30,000 square foot outdoorsman's dream shopping location. Stop by the store located at 1212 North Huron Road in Linwood or shop online at franksgreatoutdoors.com to find everything you need to get your next outdoor adventure started. Back on Bay County TV as we have got 4 and 58 left in a pretty briskly played first half yeah. of play. We're all knotted up at 16. It's been a really, really good basketball game, Jeff. A lot of good individual play, solid play, physical play. Love it. Love these kind of games. Boy, Somler again saw another path to the hole, pulled up with about a 7, 8 footer and could not get it to go. But again, another great look for the Cougar offense. Skip pass trying to go across on the other side and Boy, that went well, through, that through six bodies. And look at Wetters. He's going to be fouled on the play by number three, David Shanks. Good sportsmanship right there. David knocked him down. David helped him up. Jack said, thank you, brother. Gave him a little pat on the back. Let's go back to work. Out of the timeout. To note also Logan Martin back into the game for the Eagles. So Somler... Walks that ball up over the timeline into the front court. Underneath the wetters. Boy, he cuts two good steps around, and he is physical with his finish to the hole. Well, they saw the matchup down low with Shanks. There's no way Shanks can hang down there with Jack Wetters. They got him to rock, and he made a nice move, kissed it off the glass, and he's going to be reward rewarded with a free throw. The... Old-fashioned. Oh, coach. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching uh, Wetters here as uh, he prepares. To take the free throw. We can't see. And uh, have no idea what just happened. We get cheerleaders in front of us that are, they're excited and they're trying to do their thing, but... <laughs> We kind of need to see what's going on here at the same time. So it's uh, 18 to 16. The Cougars by a deuce. The full court pressure. Ball almost turned over right now as they get the ball back up top. Trying to find underneath. Look at Wetters. Great vision to get to the passing lane. Yeah, keep an eye at on Garza. He can fill it from about 26. Well, you got Garza, and then you also have Martin, and now they're uh, both going to be on the same side of the floor. And well, tried move. to get down there in uh, at the nick of time, but great body control that time by Martin as he uh, avoided contact and got the deuce. He's only a junior, too, Jeff. Look at Wetters up top, letting the three ball fly. It's a good, good shot. Yep, he had a he great look, those. and uh, that'll go down for him. He can make those. As we are back into the offensive set again for the Eagles. With 3-10 and counting left in the first half. So Martin again puts up another soft shot. Look at Wetters. He just absolutely flies to those things, and he avoids the contact with a kiss off the glass for another deuce. Well, Garza wanted to t try to take a charge, but Jack says, no, I'm just going to step just a little bit to my left and take it up and put it off the glass, and we got a foul away from the, uh, the basketball over in front of the Cougar bench, Jeff. We've got 2.46 to go here in the first half. Cougars 20 and the Deckerville Eagles 18. So Deckerville will go back onto the offense as we have another substitution coming back in. Ian Flanagan comes in replacing Logan Shanks. And that's a good move too because Shanks a couple times down the floor was not able to handle wetters. Right. That shot's a little outside the no, neighborhood, but uh, he says, uh, no, Mr. Doan, fear not from 24 <laughs> feet, I'm deadly. Whoa. <laughs> they get nothing but the bottom of the twine. Somler says on the other end, I'll burp one up, and that just goes off the front iron. Up a point with possession comes the Deckerville Eagles. 222 and counting left in our first half. That two-headed monster, Garza and Martin, shooting a rock like that, Jeff. Goodness gracious. Well, they, they can fill it. They certainly are plenty aware 
of where they're at, too. And, and again, in this defense, it is uh, Wetters is in the middle, and he's the one that's got to rotate from side to side to try and cut off some of those passing angles as people fly down the baseline. And another great shot by one of the two-headed monsters, Hunter Garza. Ooh. These two kids, I believe, have got all 23 of their points for Deckerville. I think you are correct. So as they bring that ball around, and that ball goes out of bounds, a little miscommunication there between Sommler and Wetters, and the turnover down, well, up three now for the Eagles. We'll put them in the offense. Comes a little three-quarter court, one, two, one, one. A little different look to the full court. That's, That's offense, a, a little out of control. Yeah. Good job by number 43. Antonio Salinas to take that charge. He knew he was going to get rocked, Jeff, and he took it right on. That has got to be the absolute toughest thing to do in basketball. To know you're going to get plowed over, you have no equipment on, and you just got to sit there and take it yep. and be able to bounce right back up. <laughs> it, it takes a special person to get that charge. You know where Wetters is going, strong to the hole. And again, no call there because he's a little out of control, so they allow that to go. And Martin tries to finish, and he is fouled on the arm. Great call. He'll go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Up three with a buck 12 left in the first. Nice job by Martin, Jeff. He, uh, with a little bit of the finger roll, is going to shoot two. First of two is a little bit strong. A little shake of the head by Martin saying, nah, that's not what I normally do. So he's going to refocus, do his routine, put this one up. And that also misses the mark. Wow. Wetters can't get that to go uh, on the rebound, and it goes off his hands last. And so that will go back over to the Eagles with about 10 left in the first half. They're up by three. That was Martin. Now they're up by six. Martin from the corner. Glad you could see it, because I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Deep corner, too, Jeff. He was right over there by the Cougar bench. As that shot goes up, and the second opportunity goes up. Now just missing uh, Salinas. Comes up with a short arm, and uh, we're going to have a Cougar stoppage of play here because of a foul on uh, Schuler. I can't tell if he's cramping up or if uh, something wrong with the ankle or the knee. I think he uh, looks like he may have turned his ankle down there, Jeff. He's going to try to walk it off. They'll get some ice on that as soon as possible. He'll sit on the end of the bench. Trainer will look at him. One of my favorite, Mr. John Caridio in front of us, uh, part of a great officiating crew tonight. <laughs> Is, uh, I actually mentored that gentleman when he started. Oh, he well, you know back. he's a quality official he, then. He came back from the New England area as the basket is made again by Martin. And he's uh, he's done some uh, announcing a, a guy named Krzyzewski. As Somler could not get that. He did college ball at where Krzyzewski was at before he ended up at Duke. Really? So. He's, uh, he's got some college experience in the broadcasting world as well. So halfway down as that shot is one and done. You know Somler wants to do a step back here, but he decides to give that ball back wide open. His wetters for a three ball just off the front mark. And Martin is coming back to the hole with a fingertip. And at the end of our first half of play, a nice 5-0 run at the end of the half. Gives the Eagles from Deckerville a 28 to 20 lead. Back in a moment, we will recap the first half, set the stage for the second half right here on Bay County TV.
You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Dauber and Blitz. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Drove Rudolph the red nose flame had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other things used to let them call him names. They never let Join in the game and one all the good with your nose so So your car is getting towed and you're not sure where to take it? Try Village Towing and Auto Repair. Our expert mechanics are here to help assist you with all your repair needs. We have over 30 years of experience with motor vehicles, so you know you're getting the best work that you can find. Stop by the shop at 2377 South Huron Road in Caucallan or give us a call at 989-684-9607. Good evening and welcome back to our Village Towing Halftime Show here on Bay County TV. 28-20, our score at the half. Both teams had little mini runs in the first half. Yeah, they did, Jeff. And uh, the, the Deckerville Eagles really had a, a nice first half, built up that 28-20 lead. I'm not sure if Coach Brzezinski was uh, real happy with the end of the first half, but uh, you know what? We'll just have to see what kind of adjustments he makes at the halftime and what happens to the Cougars when they come out here in the uh, second half. I don't have the official scoring, but I believe two players from Deckerville may have had all 28 points for their team in the first yeah, half. I, I would agree with you. Garza and Martin are just really good basketball players for the Deckerville Eagles, and uh, they do a lot of things. They're both kind of physical players. They can both shoot. They can go low. They can go outside. So I would have to agree the dynamic duo of Garza and, uh, and Martin really did a number on the Cougars in the first half. It stretches the Cougars were something special in the first half. Other stretches, it looked like they were waiting to flick the switch to get going. And, and I really feel like coming out of this halftime, the Cougars, you, you'll see a little different energy level going at the start of the third. Well, you know, you go in the halftime, you make the necessary adjustments and stuff, and then maybe you have a little bit of a spirited conversation with uh, with your team and, and see what happens. And I, and I think the Cougars will come out with a little pep in their step, and they'll start playing on the defensive end, and they'll start hitting some of those shots. And then, you know, you've got that young man down underneath the, the in the block and uh, Jack Wetters. And so let's see what he can do in the second half also. Boy, I'll tell you, he grabs his Windex, and he <laughs> starts cleaning the glass. Absolutely. I look for that to continue in the second half. But that about puts the wraps on our halftime show. 
excited to see what the Cougars can bring to the table here in the second half in just a moment on BCTV. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. All right, here as the final seconds wind down on the clock, I think they hit that stop button and we're gonna get ready to go with our next eight minutes. Oh, just like that, right on cue. You, you, they must be listening to the broadcast here on Bay County TV. Well, I would hope that they would have inclination <laughs> well, would? to do that. As Martin goes to the hole, Martin traveled as kind of got his feet caught up as he went through. But you know, we talked to assistant coach Deacons at the half and they definitely have a couple of minor adjustments defensively because there's really two players on the floor for Deckerville yeah. that uh, need to be accounted for. Look at Sommler. Nice I think he's, he flicked on that switch to start well, the third quarter. I, I'm sure it was a uh, spirited conversation at halftime by Coach uh, Brzezinski and, and, the, and the coaching staff that uh, we all know what's going on with the Deckerville Eagles. Well, Martin put up a little five-footer a little bit too strong and you look at uh, that shot going up from Wetters. Again, the great body control to avoid contact. They set up to take the charge. He gets around that, gets contact, and goes to the hole for two. Well, no, one thing you got to remember, Jeff, is that, you know the Cougars just can't try to get this all back at once. They're only down six. They're down eight at halftime. They're, you're not in any bad shape. You didn't play real well during the first half, but you're still within good range down now only uh, five. So don't try to get it all back at once. You know, make the adjustments, and then uh, let's see what we do in the first four minutes here of the third quarter. Well, they I was going to say cut that lead in half. Is that ball halfway down the hole that, from Wetters that, that, and comes that, that out? That was like it was I don't one like of the girls that rim, game. you know. It, that ball <laughs> gets halfway down, and then it pops right back up. Now there was somebody attempting to make the first shot of the game for them ahead. That Shanks doesn't get the deuce. Look, it's a homler. Looks like he's out of control, but coast to coast for the news. And right, now with a nice little semi-Euro step right there, Jeff, for the Cougars. Boy, what a great finish that time by Garza. Uh, they've got two really talented players yeah, on this do. Deckerville team. They, they really do. Garza and Martin are very good basketball players, Jeff. The rest are a supporting cast. Sommler again, you got to get it back out. Yep, this is not a one-on-one -on -one game, and so very nice job. And, of course, right in front of Coach Brzezinski, he can let a few things known, too. And Sommler puts up a shot. Wetters again. Absolutely picture-perfect rebounding position. Well, and the, you know what? When you say that, Jeff, you look at him, he's not too far underneath the basket. He's out where he can get the rebounds. He's got such a big body, and he's so hard to move and he's gonna go and get rewarded for that tough work. He's doing all the dirty work underneath the boards right now. Boy, he has uh, really uh, become our Windex player of the game so far for the All Saints Cougars. As a first, making the first of two, so he, two out of his last three shots from the line. As number 30, Holman goes out, and number 11, Flanagan back into the game. Second free throw attempt forthcoming. It's his rhythm with the three dribbles, bend to the knees. That wrist flick is up and just off the outstretched hands of uh, Drew Andrzejewski. And that ball will go back over to the Eagles. Oh, they're going to give the ball back to yeah, the Cougars. Yeah, it was the Cougars' ball. Oh, look at Arnell loading up from three. Can't get it to go, but that was a great look. Here's Bo Williams for a three ball. Can't get that one, and somebody blew his shoe. <laughs> that was number 24, Gabe. He's got it back on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but anymore, they don't tie no. tight enough. They just bang them back into their foot, and away they go. Somler's looking to go. He wants to go coast to coast. No doubt about it. 
And it's very tough stopping him in the open well, court. Well, everybody's backpedaling, so you take it right to the rack. At the other end of the floor, a little bit of a short arm on that long three ball. Well, they challenged you too that time, Jeff. And again, nobody really set defensively, so I believe that they're going to get uh, Garza with this so. foul. I think Garza picked up that. That's going to be team foul number three on the Deckerville Eagles. And don't look now. That was a foul was on number three, David Shanks, Jeff. That was his third foul, okay. not on Garza. Yep, there was two of them that it could have been called yep. on. Yep. Boy, look at Sam. They're going to the hole again. He has that ball tipped away, but, boy, a first explosive step to the hole on the offensive end. It's within two points again, 30 to 28. It's Deckerville kind of slowing the action down right now, trying to spread out that Cougar defense. Cougars picking up a little bit higher on that 2-3 matchup zone too, Jeff. An 18-footer. And it will not drop. But boy, what is going to be living at the free throw line. He's probably going to get the sleeping bag up with <laughs> a little campfire to spend the weekend at the line. Why not hang out at the KOA? Well, I'll tell you what. He puts a lot of altitude on that rock when he shoots it. That thing almost brought snow. <laughs> Don't say that. We're, no, I'm we've sorry. been lucky. Well, That's there's no right. school in it for until right. 2024, no, so no we're good. Tough decisions to make. <laughs> Wetters with the first. That's a friendly roll yeah, with the home iron. Yeah. Nothing like a little home cooking. Andrew Jeske out. And number 13, Jacob Meyer back in for the Cougars. 30-29, the Eagles over the Cougars. 5-11 to go here in a well played third quarter for both squads. That one's gonna be just a scope short for Jack. Well, split at the line his last three or four tries there. So one point lead right now. And the Cougars, the adjustment that they have been able to make at the half has really neutralized this offense from Deckerville the first three minutes of the third. Well, and I just, you know, I just see a different pep in the step on defense, Jeff. I think that's the key for for all Saints. They're challenging the shots, and they're just a little bit quicker on defensive end of the floor. And here comes Somler again. He gets rid of it to Bo Williams. With a kiss off the glass for the deuce, and don't look now. Cougars have retaken the lead. Bo knows layups. Oh, man. <laughs> Does he ever? Did he finish with a sortie? That, that little soft little fingertip. And again, another one halfway down. There's going to be a foul on this play in it. Oh, oh my! Oh off. my! As a Preston Holman, he Threw may have ball. had his hands on the ball before he went over the back with contact, and uh, nonetheless, that ball will go back over. But I think Holman got a break there. Uh, I would agree with that, Jeff. But jump ball, possession arrow back to the Cougars. Thirty-one thirty. Plus one with possession. Oh, that was a great move to draw the defense again. Wide open is Meyer. Remember what he did last year, man. He sparked the Cougars in the game. We did, I think it was against Deckerville also, Jeff. He came out and started hitting some shots and doing some great things. And again, on the backside, second shot missed and no third opportunity because Wetters is there. Slow things down on offense. Nice job to save that ball. Somler, look at his good move to the hole. Can't get it to finish. He's disappointed, but boy, what a great looking opportunity okay. he just had. And uh, the, the coach doesn't like where things going. Stoliker, he says, uh, we better have a little confab here. 34 30, Cougars by four back in a moment on Bay County TV. Choose Renew Physical Therapy for an experience that exceeds expectations. When our team started out, we researched the physical therapy industry to learn what patients and doctors liked and what they disliked. Now we have the perfect formula for you. We offer individualized one-on-one -on -one care that is custom tailored to you, ensuring that your needs are met and your goals are attained. With our evidence-based approach to physical therapy, we're able to provide a level of care unlike any other. Contact us today to learn more. We're here to help. Renew Physical Therapy.
Back here on Bay County TV as we got a foul on the play as the Eagles go to the hole. And you know it's one of the dynamic duo going to the free throw line. <laughs> that's, good. that's a good name for uh, Martin and Garza, the dynamic duo. It's kind of like a Batman-Robin thing, wouldn't you think? They are certainly in a league all oh. their own. Look at that friendly roll of the <laughs> iron. That's a soft touch, though, that tells you that yeah. you can make one of those drop. Second free throw attempt forthcoming. And he can't get the second one, but not getting the body up in the basket by Holman on the putback. And boy, that's one that'll drive wow. a coach nuts. Preston Holman with a nice little tip, Jeff, right back into the well. And they're going to have Samler with a, yep. He had a little yep. shuffle of the feet he did. first. Good so. ball. Cougars will stay in that 1 2 1 1, three quarter court. Slow things down a little bit for the Eagles. And again, that's a 50 50 ball, but Salinas got there according to the official and drew the charge. And uh, this, this gym is becoming electrified <laughs> as uh, every possession is meaningful with still three and 10 left in the third. Dylan Paul will come in for Salinas. Salinas got one in the chops, Jeff. I think he's got a little uh, bloody lip, so they're going to have to take care of that young man. And uh, again, gave, giving up his body right there on the charge. When you do that, there's sometimes oh, you yeah, have to does. pay a price for that, and that's taking one for the team. Wetters again gives that back to Meyer. Oh, they're fortunate to get that back. Wide open for a three ball. Quiz, can you run up and uh, knock that off of the 20, iron? Yeah, 30 years ago, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, 45 years ago, maybe. <laughs> off the alternate possession, that's going to go back to the Eagles. I yeah, saw I you elevate the I day, I could have got it if you would have got me a Warner ladder. <laughs> <laughs> could have even done it with a three-step ladder. Yeah. And there's a travel again, a little indecision by number 13, Jake Meyer. And that's too bad though, the Cougars had three on one at the other end. 34-33, Cougars with the lead, 244 and counting the go here in the third quarter. A very excited crowd and exciting basketball game. Both games tonight, very good so far, Jeff. Absolutely. Carving out a little spot to let it go and one of the two on the dynamic duo with another basket as Garza just continues to excel on the offensive end. Down one with possession, that could go offense. And I believe defense was pretty well set, but when your offense dips the shoulder yeah. and creates contact, just a little out of control, that's a pretty easy call for the officials. And see, what I see on this play is the offense is so predicated around going through those two. I think he had a great shot to just take it himself, but he's looking for that pass to one of the yeah. dynamic duo, and I really think that caused that turnover. Uh, you're, I think you're right, Jeff. And, and again, that's that happens sometimes. Just the nature of kids, Jack, with that famous shot from the top of the key, he loves that area. He'll knock that down 50% of the time. A little bit short in that one with a buck 50 to go. Boy, great rotation that time yeah. on Garza is uh, coming out with Schuler. And again, Schuler's giving him some energy defensively. That mid-range shot. Look at Jack. He says, I know how to get that ball in the hands of. What a great visionary yeah. pass. Perfectly done. Ended up in the deuce. Nice unselfish play right there by uh, number 10, Arnell Schomler, Jeff. And look who comes away. That ball comes down to the waist, and you know he's going to gobble it. Meyer wide open for the three ball. Can't get it to drop Ooh. as it goes off the air. If he'd have made that, oh, this boy. place would have gone bonkers. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. He makes that. Yeah, this place is going a ballistic. And it is a 36-35 <laughs> Cougar lead with a minute left in the third. Garza sends that ball across, gets it back up top. Now they're going to redirect the offense. As Garza tries to go strong to the hole, he almost travels. 
And another opportunity. Look at the backside rebound coming down by Dylan Paul. Does Meyer have a better look? Partially deflected. And a, a great little closeout yeah, that Martin. time by Logan Martin. Martin came a long ways to deflect that shot. Under control, too. And again, there's a great job of knowing where you're at on the floor and a finish for Garza. 37-36, 15 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Eagles up one over the base of the All Saints Cougars. Cougars look like they're, uh, unless they get a layup, probably going to take the last shot of the quarter. And that ball tipped away, too, and very, very active defensively the last three trips down the floor for the Eagles. At the end of our third quarter of play, 37-36. The Eagles by one back in a moment for the final eight on BCTV. Are you ready to gear up and stand out? Look no further than Sandlot, your local source for team uniforms, sports beer wear, and more. Gear up with confidence. We've got your team covered from head to toe, ensuring you stand out on and off the field. And that's not all. Unleash your team spirit with custom spirit wear that roars success. Wait, it gets better. Introducing our free fundraising online stores. Effortlessly raise funds for your team while showing your pride. Customize your fundraising to reach your team goals. Get started online at sandlotsports301.com or at any one of our three convenient Great Lakes Bay locations. Sandlot, where quality, community, and apparel collide. Your team, our passion. Ready to go with our final eight minutes of play. Jeff Doan and Mike Guizdala, glad to have you along with us tonight. Nick Page producing, directing, and filming. Has a great look in the corner. Andrew Jeske just a little bit strong. Wetters couldn't come up with a rebound. So up by a point with possession on the offense go the Eagles. They go Garza on the baseline. A skip pass across on the other side. And boy, nice Wetters, Wetters has got to have close to 15 rebounds. Look at Bo Williams at the other end. Beats everybody down the floor. I told you Bo knows layups. Woo! Flash Gordon makes a <laughs> deuce. And the Cougars are back up by one. As they try and get that ball around right now. He has that knack of getting out there, Jeff, and getting those easy layups as Bo Williams. Well, he looked like a receiver the way he got that pass. Well, was I wonder why. He's sitting in a hurry. <laughs> He's done it all on the football field as well. Garza hands that off on the baseline again. Nobody else seems to be able to make a shot for the Eagles as they'll get the ball back down one with 6 and 53 left in the fourth. Getting a little warm in here, well, Coach. Boy, it is. The, we uh, <laughs> intensity of this big crowd here on the last school day of 2023 for a lot of schools. Yep. That ball tipped, and again, Somler gets around that potential screen, and he's going to be out some 18 feet. Now he's going to try and go. He, they know exactly where Garza's at. That ball goes down off of the last touch that looked like by number 30 on the play, Holman. And the Cougars are going to get their hands back on the ball. Well, out goes number 10 for uh, Sharbowski goes out. Martin back in. Garza's back in. So the uh, squad is full for the uh, Deckerville Eagles. But this good matchup. You got Martin against uh, Samler. What a matchup this is. Well, and, well, there's a little push. Might have been a little slip, but you got that hand on the hip. There's no reason for that hand to be on the hip. That's a foul Every that you time. don't need to get. Every time. The days of hand checking are over. And it's, uh, it's his third foul, so that's a big one. And he wants to defend, and with three well, fouls, I, I, I say do. back, 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 back. <laughs> you know what I do? Go right at yep, him. Exactly. And you see if they run something to Somler. And Jack Wetter's going to the hole, unable to finish, but boy, what great oh. vision and determination to go strong to the basket. Just a touch too strong, 5.56 and counting to go, 38-37 Cougars. The skip pass, trying to get people in the middle involved, and we're going to have some contact, which is going to send Holman to the free throw line to shoot a pair. I think that might be on uh, number 13. Jack, Jacob Meyer, no, I'm sorry, that's on number 43, Antonio Salinas 
His first personal, team foul number one. Antonio back into the game, Jeff, after he got popped in the uh, yapper, taking that charge. He's all right. Good to see him back in. Well, Holman with one of the rare points from other than the dynamic duo. And so it's back to a 39-38 lead for the Eagles from Deckerville. Open three ball, unable to finish. Sa! Ha ha! Good what tip. a great one from Sondler. Wadders kept that ball yep. live and tipped it. He just absolutely has a nose for the ball and knows exactly what to do. There's a big time post turn and Ooh. kiss. That was a tough shot. Good defense by the Cougars. Not much you can do about that. Nope, yeah. you just put your arms yep. up and you go, wow, that was uh, definitely a great shot. So as they go underneath, look at Wetters with a drop step to the hole. That first step, man, man, and then you pump fake to see if they're getting up or not, and you put it in, and they've got the lead by one again. And use the glass again. That expensive piece of glass has been used a lot tonight. <laughs> At the other end, unable to get it, Wetters tips it to himself. He's coming down to Florida. You know he wants to finish? Absolutely he does. He's unable to finish, and it's one and done as the rebound comes down to the Eagles. Oh, and they're going to give. What a tough angled shot that time Boy. for Martin. He I gets it to I, drop. And, uh, yeah, I think Martin just got hit in the uh, He got chops one of the too. choppers. Price you pay for making a deuce in this hard fort uh, game. I'll tell you what, this is a physical game. Meyer's out taking his, going in for number 40, and Jess, Andrew Jeske. Up one, now up two. As I would say, uh, pretty safely, 40 of the 42 points yeah. have been scored by two. <laughs> up top, Wetters thinking about a three ball again off the front iron. And again, it's one and done as the rebound comes down to the Eagles. Up a deuce with possession. Look at that, strong to the hole. Body under control, a kiss off the glass. And I know Coach Brzezinski not happy after that last exchange. Going to have a chat with his kids. We'll take a quick break and be back in a moment on Bay County TV. As the voice of Michigan's student athletes, the Student Advisory Council's role is to convey the message of how high school sports should be played. We are responsible for helping the MHSAA maintain a positive and healthy atmosphere in which interscholastic athletes can thrive. We believe that athletes should be competitive, sportsmanlike, and excel academically. We believe that students in the stands should have fun, but not take away the focus from the game. We believe coaches should act like teachers, helping student athletes develop while still keeping high school sports in perspective. We believe that parents should always be positive role models and support their child's decisions. We believe officials commit their own time to high school sports. And respect should always be shown and given to them. The most important goal for student athletes is to enjoy high school sports. While keeping a high level of respect between all those involved in the games. Enjoy, 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 enjoy the, the game. game. Back on Bay County I TV. Gonna, I was just going to say, can you see our director? <laughs> I, I had an inch. I finally found him. We find a way to get it done. <laughs> Sondler trying to get that ball to Wetters, and they are really having some fun bodying up on him. Salinas gets that ball back to Bo Williams. Bo Williams now to Meyer. Sondler up top, off the front iron, unable to go. Up four with possession, comes Garza into the front court. Just got to remember where Garza and Martin are at, Jeff. Martin's down there running the short corner. And Good job by Bo Williams. And you know Bo wants to make it happen, and then we're going to have a foul here, and that's going to go against Holman. As the Cougars did a nice job in transition again. Down four. Three and a half left. This is a pretty big possession yeah, in this game. it is. 46-42, Deckerville Eagles over the base of the All Saints Cougars in a well-played, hard-fought varsity conference basketball game here at the All Saints gym. So here comes Wetters, just a little out of control, and he tried to 
kind of lost his balance as he anticipated contact. It kind of backed up a little bit, and he tried to bail that thing back out, but it sailed out of bounds. So tough turnover for the Cougars. They're going to have to make up for it on the other end. Again, very Good acutely call aware. Fire. And we're going to have a foul. Looks like Bo Williams on a reach in. Tried to get all basketball. May have got a little arm in the process. Eagles will take it out underneath their own basket. Again, keep an eye on Garza and Martin. Got a good matchup. Williams on Garza. Martin right there at the elbow. Boy, and he was squared up and let it fly too. And Somler gets his hands on that ball and it goes out of bounds. And like, how in the world is there no call there, says Coach Jason Brzezinski. And they got a lot of people going for a loose ball. Love to see the kids getting on the deck. That's the type of game it's been like this all night long. Very tough, very physical. No place for the meek and mild in this game tonight, Jeff. Plus four with possession. 250 and counting left in regulation. And again, looks like they're just starting to stretch things out a little bit, trying to get the Cougars to come out defensively. Yep. And with 242 left, I'd say it's a little early for that, but I'm not the coach. That's why we're sitting here. As Holman gets his hands on the ball. Now they send it back up top. Kappen gives the ball to Martin. Martin was a little out of control that time. Kind of forced that shot. And it looks like Holman's going to pick up the foul. That's Kappen, I'm sorry. That'll be third team foul for the Eagles with 2.19 to go here in the game. 46 42 Eagles with the lead. Substitution in number three. Schuler in for Williams. Number 13 is going to be your key for the Cougars, I think, down the stretch. Yeah. I think he's uh, that streak shooter, and uh, you know that uh, Somler's going to have an opportunity. Wetter says, don't forget about me, though. Well, I'll tell you what, when you get the ball that low, there's no way you're going to be able to stop Jack Wetter's going to, going to the rack and making the basket. Boy, and a great job of avoiding contact. And that ball goes out of bounds. Very unfortunate that the Cougars couldn't come up with that loose ball and go back on offense. Down two points. With a minute and 50 seconds left. And again, uh, Garza couldn't get it to drop. Second one won't drop, but he goes to the free throw line. He's just relentless on that offensive glass. He really is. Buck 44, 46, 44. Eagles with the two-point lead over at the Cougars. Garza going to shoot two. If he makes both, we got a two-possession game, but he's just got a real pure stroke. <laughs> yeah. Got a good routine. Same thing every time. One dribble, a little spin. Bottom of the net. Yep. It's a four-point lead with a buck 44 left in the game. Lots Quickly of time. out of the offensive set. Somler thought about burping it up from 22. They're going to go back underneath the Wetters. Wetters gets his own rebound, tip back out. Salinas with that ball, and uh, he doesn't get it. And then I think Meyer's going to be a little reach in. Got another eagle down on the floor. He got up, but he got hit in the chops also. That's number 30, Preston Holman. He's going to walk it off. He's standing about the 10-second line, and he's he's kind of feeling to see if he's still got his choppers in and his he mouth. He said, man, I didn't get hit that hard in the football season. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be Deckerville ball. They'll take it right only team foul four, so every one ensuing will be a two shot, unless it's an offensive charge. Garza and Martin along with number three, David Shanks, to try to get the ball in. Meyer will one, two, one, one, full court press. As they head down the floor and able to beat that press in the basket by number 11, Flanagan. As uh, Ian got a very important deuce, that's a six-point lead. 
Says, Boy, that's a wide open shot. He backs up now. Step back, three. Ice water in his veins, tickling the twine. 58 and seconds to go, Jeff. 50-47, Eagles with the lead. A couple free throws forthcoming. Well, you got Salinas that creates the foul. What's important is when you're fouling, you got to know the number of the person you're right, fouling. It's right. not 13, it's not 32. You at least think you got a better chance now at the free throw. Well, line. assistant coaches, they know who they're going to have to foul. They'll be talking to each other. Flanagan at the line, he's going to shoot two. If he makes one of two, that will be back to a two-possession game, 50-47. to 47. And that first one misses the mark. Yes. We'll take a break and be back in a moment on Bay County TV. Choose Renew Physical Therapy for an experience that exceeds expectations. When our team started out, we researched the physical therapy industry to learn what patients and doctors liked and what they disliked. Now we have the perfect formula for you. We offer individualized one-on-one -on -one care that is custom tailored to you, ensuring that your needs are met and your goals are attained. With our evidence-based approach to physical therapy, we're able to provide a level of care unlike any other. Contact us today to learn more. We're here to help. Renew Physical Therapy. Back here on Bay County TV is uh, we can't see our producer up there. So we're guessing that everything's rocking and rolling here. One free throw attempt left for number 11, Ian Flanagan. Bend to the knees, flick of the wrist. He makes the second. It's a two possession game at a four point lead with 57 ticks left. Sommler coming down the floor right now, making his last three. Meyer's gonna take it to the hole. That ball's tipped away from him. Now he's down on the floor trying to make it happen. Up top, Salinas with a three ball. That's off the iron. Fight for the rebound. And it does come down to Deckerville and quickly fouling. Number 24 is Cap, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot a pair up four with 30 and a half left in the ball game. Well, that little offensive possession took a lot of time off the clock, Jeff. 30.5 ticks to go. Deckerville 51, the base of the All Saints Cougars 47. First of two free throws, rattles. Got to box out, make a basket, come down, call timeout. You absolutely cannot give up an offensive rebound here. You've got to body up, as you just said, and ensure if this shot is missed that you're gobbling up the rebound. As he makes Big the hope. second one, it's a five-point game now. Still 30 seconds left. Don't have to get a triple here. Somler going to the hole. We're going to have a timeout from Coach Brzezinski. 22.9 left. It's a three-point game back in a moment on BCTV. Village Towing and Auto Repair of Caucallan and Bay City is here to help you in your hour of need with fast and friendly service. With over 30 years of towing experience, we know how to get the job done quickly and safely. From big to small, we do it all. Give us a call at 989-684-9607 for all your towing needs.
All right, back. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties. Six point lead with 17 seconds left. As the Cougars miss another shot. And boy, with 11.2 seconds left, one free throw is going to put the icing on this cake. Had Kids. somebody unplug us back here. <laughs> There's a lot of activity going around. They knew Bay County TV was going to be in the house, so that's why everybody wants to be around us, Jeff. They wanted to be part of the activity, and they were a little too much part of the activity. <laughs> well, we love the spirit of the uh, All Saints faithful. 56-49, Eagles with the lead with 11.2 ticks to go. This is a Super Bowl game tonight, Jeff. Both teams played really, really well. Boy, and a huge crowd on hand to yeah. enjoy these great games yeah. as well. So down to the final nine seconds left in the game. As Meyer goes strong to the hole, that ball tipped away. And that about is going to do it. That's all there, there is. There isn't any more. Final score in the ball game, 57-49. Deckerville with a big hard-fought victory. We'll be back to put the wraps on this one in just a moment on Bay County TV. Back with the Franks, great outdoor post-game wrap-up here on Bay County TV. Jeff Don and Mike Wasdala along with you. And, boy, the Cougars built up that lead again in the third quarter, but just couldn't get over the hump. Well, you know, Jeff, they came out out of halftime, and you could just see a little bit more energy in their defensive philosophy. They were making some shots on offense. Jack Weathers was stepping up down on the block. But, uh, I mean, between Garza and Martin, the Deckerville Eagles, oh, my goodness, they were just filling it up. And some kids, other than those two, made a couple big shots down the stretch so the, uh, the Eagles could pull off that nine-point win. But you were always in a situation in the third and fourth quarter where you were looking for somebody else to step up for the Cougars and they did not get that extra great production from the supporting cast tonight that you'd like to see. Yeah, Sommler made a couple big shots. Jack Wetters did his thing underneath the boards, Jeff, and was fighting hard. Ant Antonio Salinas did a nice job, made some shots. He got hurt. He had to step out for a little bit, took care of that bloody lip. But, you know, down the stretch, the Eagles made some shots. And when the Eagles got to the free throw line, they made their free throw lines and it wasn't a nine point win, excuse me, it was an eight point win. So a uh, big win for the Eagles. Uh, Cougars come out of it five and two. And again, Cougars did a lot of nice things. Certainly nothing to be ashamed of from their effort. They put forth great effort, especially in the second half. And again, Wetters on both ends of the floor for a sophomore is really turning into a man child. Yeah, he, he's got some muscle down there, Jeff. He's not afraid to mix it up with anybody. Uh, he, he goes in there. He's a, he's a man among boys sometimes, and tonight he played extremely well. But I look at this Cougar team and, and the future schedule coming up. they got to go play at the Garber Dukes. They've got a home game against the Hemlock Huskies. Then they're going to host the Bay City Western Warriors after the New Year. So so, you know, it doesn't get any easier for the Bay City All Saints Cougars, but that tough of a schedule is definitely going to help these kids when it comes to the uh, tournament time. Well, and that's exactly what I think Coach Jason did with this group going, you know what? We're going to have to scratch and claw for everything we get all year long. But if this team is even 10 and 10 going into the tournament, I like their chances. Well, absolutely. If you're going to play that tough a schedule, you know, and Deckerville is very, very good. So now you put the Deckerville game along with those other three bigger schools uh, in there. You know, this is just going to pay off in the long run for the Cougars. And, and again, I want to say thank you to the new AD, Jamie Brakowiak, the new AD here at Bay City All Saints, for his hospitality. It was a lot of fun, and uh, it was Two really, really good high school basketball games tonight for both out of both teams. Well, it's always fun to come here to All Saints, uh, th this gym. It was alive, but it was electric. Uh, both the games tonight, even though the Cougars came up on the short end of the stick on both of them, uh, highly electric. The fans were into it. It was just a lot of fun on a Tuesday night. Yeah, and you know, it's kind of special now. Nobody has to go to school for the until after the New Year, so everybody's kind of nice and relaxed and things like that. So everybody's home. All the alumni are coming back home and things. So, you know, it was a great, great game, great crowd. 
And uh, we just had a blast uh, coming to All Saints again, as we always do. Well, and sitting next to your side for two partner, it was, it was another fun. grandioso evening here. Merry Christmas and, uh, and Happy New Year to you and to all our uh, viewers here on Bay County TV. Happy holidays. We do nothing but spread joy all year <laughs> long. We hope that you enjoyed yourself. On behalf of the whole crew, I'm Jeff Doan along with Mike Wasdala. Another sensational job by producer, director, and cameraman Nick Page. Our trifecta of fun on a Tuesday. Have a great night. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Until we meet again.